So I think people's idea of what streetwear is now is still stuck in the past of what it used to be. So what I wanna do is actually show y'all how you can upgrade your streetwear style and how you can make it look more fashionably forward whenever you are trying to get into the streetwear style. So with that being said, y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Roll my camera, please. Yeah. What's good camp crew, it's your homeboy Camp Quarter Banks and welcome back to the channel. Now if this is your first time tuning into my channel, this is a channel that's focused on streetwear, sneaker content, and menswear fashion. Now like I was stating in the beginning in the intro, I think that a lot of people's idea of streetwear fashion is still stuck in that Flintstone age of what it used to be. So I just want to show you all like a few ways that you can upgrade your style. Instead of just being so basic, I want you all to upgrade your style and I want to give you tips on how to do just that. So let's just kick it off right now with number one. Now first thing first, I want you to get out of that start a package phase now the starter package pretty much is t-shirts graphic t-shirts hoodies sweatshirts denim jeans and sneakers pretty much a lot of people are thinking just that streetwear style is more of a no rules type of style you can make anything you want to put together with it as long as it's your style and your idea if you put it together that's pretty much streetwear now just as a heads up i'm not saying that you should never wear these at all like the starter package i'm not saying that you should never wear them at all what i'm saying is they shouldn't be your statement piece that shouldn't be the only piece that you wear like those t-shirts those graphic graphic tees, when you are trying to elevate your style or update your style, you don't want those pieces to be the only main piece that you have. You should have other pieces that you can then collectively put together and make a complete style out of it instead of just having one t-shirt and that be the main piece or one sweatshirt and that be the main piece. That's what I mean by get out of just wearing the starter package. Now when you want to, if you just want to be chill, you can do just that. But like I said, if you're trying to elevate your style, you're trying to step it up a little bit more, go ahead and go to like some different type of styles, different cuts and everything like that. Try chino pants, try button ups, try some dress pants, some casual pants and things like that. Maybe a button up a turtleneck and you could use that as a layer an additional layer to your style and it will make you look more even stand out ish whenever you're putting the streetwear style together all right next up is not wear just sneakers get out of that era where you're just only wearing sneakers because streetwear style has advanced to a whole nother level of style you can wear things like tassel loafers some doc martens there are a number of different things that you can wear chelsea boots step outside of just wearing only sneakers because sneakers are not the only way to express streetwear fashion now yes i get that they are very comfortable and i get that they are fine if you put if you put an actual piece together with some dope sneakers yes you can come out with a fire piece but if you are wearing something like some really extremely hype sneakers or something like that people are gonna overlook the idea of what you're doing with your style and they only gonna look at your sneakers that's it nobody is gonna care about what you have done with the top nobody gonna care about the jacket the shirt the pants none of that they're gonna be focusing on your shoes prime example if you were to get like a pair of chunky dunkies and you try styling it up you put you put your all into this style nobody is gonna care about that the only thing that they're gonna focus on is your sneakers just being honest so don't only focus on getting sneakers try to update your closet with things like some boots or some slides or some Chelsea's or something like that start to add in different type of footwear because sneakers aren't the only thing that you can wear to actually express more streetwear style all right third thing is to never sacrifice your style for hype name brand pieces like seriously i've seen a number of people that will actually buy a number of expensive clothes just to have the logo stand out just to say that they have it now i'm not saying that you can't get those pieces but if you're just stacking on like supreme balenciaga Fendi, Louis Vuitton, and just just to name a few, if you're getting these high-end brands and you're only wearing those like simple things like a t-shirt, but you have nothing else to put with that, you're wasting your time and you're wasting your money. Like a lot of people like to just grab a lot of things that either is expensive or grab a lot of things that people can't actually afford to wear or something like that, just to show that they have the money. And honestly, I don't think it's a good look. I I've told you all this before. It kind of looks like word vomit. 
you just put all of these pieces together just because it costs a lot of money and it doesn't have anything to do with your style like it doesn't have shit to do with your style it's actually pretty boring it's like ah uh, here's another person just trying to show that they have money and calling it drip man please take your take take that boring style on some way it's it's trash it's boring man now i'm not saying that you cannot wear like high-end value pieces very expensive pieces or anything like that what i am saying is i don't want you to get stuck on wearing logos that just stand out so i could grab everybody else's attention but if you can put together a piece that have no logo on it it will actually challenge you to grab different pieces so you could actually put together a number of different pieces and it makes it actually more fun so by the time you do put these pieces together you'll be more stylish you'll be more presentable it'll show that you actually have some type of style you yourself have a particular style instead of you just grabbing the most expensive thing to say that you look good and say that you have the drip because honestly i just think it looked boring it, it's it's a it's easy for you to just grab anything and say that you got drip just because you grabbed the t-shirt that cost 300 dollars and it say one word on it and that's it that has nothing to do with style at all but that's just me i don't know i'm, I'm just saying I'm, that's just me all right now next up is wearing different patterns and wearing different material now i can't tell you enough i when i see somebody wearing different material it actually stands out more than somebody wearing sweatpants or a regular denim if you're trying to add that up with streetwear there's nothing wrong with you wearing cotton or denim or anything like that but you can be accelerated in your style when you're wearing things like leather suede chanel fabric terry cloth things like that can actually stand out. The color, the feel of it, it stands out even more just because it's different than your regular cotton and denim. So when you put these pieces together with other pieces like other layers of clothes, whether it's a sweater, a jacket, the pants, these things actually stick out like a sore thumb and it makes you look more fashionable. All right, now lastly is accessories. I can't stress this enough. Anytime you're wearing any style, especially in the summertime, accessories are gonna be heavy. You might not be wearing as much layers as you think you are. Usually you'll have those layers in spring, fall, and winter and things like that. But when it comes to the summer, nine times out of 10, you're not gonna be wearing that many layers. And in the spring, it starts to warm up so you're wearing less. You're more so wearing thinner material or you're wearing less material. So having accessories is gonna make you stand out even more. So having things like a crossbody bag, tote bags, your glasses, wearing specific hats like a fisherman's beanie, a trucker hat, your rings, your chains, and things are all gonna come into play. Now, what's big to me is things like rings, chains, and glasses. I think that these are the things that actually stand out because one, they're always in motion. Especially when you have glasses, for example, you can actually change up the shape. A lot of people are into wearing like Ray-Bans and that's nothing wrong with that. The wafer look actually looks common to everybody. So if you're wearing something that's completely against it, like some square or exaggerated circled glasses or these exaggerated oval glasses, the cat eye glasses, these things stand out more when it comes to being fashion forward and when it comes to jewelry you can pick out things that are really affordable but at the same time they can be a little pricey depending on where you go for example these two rings that i have on me right now are from vitaly they are a little bit on the pricey side but at the same time these are things that will not damage they won't bend they won't rush they won't tarnish or anything like that and you can have pieces like solid gold chains they may cost you a pretty penny but at the same time the longevity that you get out of these pieces are absolutely exceptional. But with that being said, accessories are gonna be the top of everything. I love accessories and I think that it will stand out when it comes to streetwear, especially in streetwear style. All right, y'all, now I just listed out a few tips that will help you all upgrade and accelerate you all streetwear style. Hopefully that just added more to your palette whenever you was thinking about streetwear style. I hope that help you get more of a visual of what streetwear style is now instead of just thinking it's the basic t-shirt, jeans, and sneakers. It's a whole new world that we're living in when it comes to fashion and style and when it comes to streetwear style 
there's just an endless amount of ways that you could style with streetwear. I love this style. This is why I'm always dressing in it. But with that being said, if you all have any other questions, if you all want to know different ways that you can style stores that I shop at, if you all want me to do some vlogs for these places that I shop at, drop those comments down below. Let me know what's up. Drop those comments down if you actually like this type of video, if you want me to give more of this to you. With that being said, man, I'm finna get up out of here, man. It's getting late. I'll catch up with y'all next time. Y'all already know the vibes. I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarterbanks. I'll catch up with y'all next time. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all, all right? Peace.